far from the peaceful, quiet metropolis of Mouseville, on the outskirts of town, lies the cold, cruel tenement known as Vermin City. Here, the most vicious villains in all the land gather to plot their nefarious schemes. It is here that the most terrifying masterminds of them all, the supervillains, begin their awesome waves of crime. Even as we speak, a new wave of crime is sweeping over Mouseville. Who is this foul fiend who is terrorizing the city? Is there a pattern to his crimes? Who will stop this madman? This looks like a job for Mighty Mouse! Hello, operator. Put me through to a Mr. Bat-Bat, please. Hello, Bat. Mouse. How's tricks? Me? Oh, not much. How's the Lord? First time, really. Mm-hmm. Mm yeah? Uh, oh, uh, by the way, there's a crime wave sweeping the town, but I I'm late for work. Can you handle it? Leave it to me, old friend. At last, another chance to squash the criminal vermin of this city. Yes, it's Bat-Bat, masked defender of justice. Bat-Bat has dedicated his life to wiping out corruption and filth in this diseased society of ours. With the help of his faithful sidekick, the Bug Wonder. To the Manmobile, Bug Wonder! Once again, the Manmobile roars into the night, striking fear into the hearts of evildoers everywhere. Taste cold justice, you disreputable henchman types. Having vanquished his vile foes, the Dark Avenger speeds off into the night, secure in the knowledge that law and order prevails. Back in the seclusion of the Bat Pit, Bat Bat is free to reveal his most closely guarded secret. For in reality, Bat Bat and the Bug Wonder are none other than millionaire play bat Bruce Vane and his youthful ward, Tick. When I think of how the scum of this city are allowed to run free, I get so mad I want to. I want to write a very stern letter to all their parents. Only Belfry, Bruce's trusted butler, knows his dark secret. Your twist puff, sir. Ah, oh, thank you, Belfry. Ah, uh, yes, after a hard day of fighting crime, there's nothing so relaxing as a light, flaky pastry. Covered with real creamery butter. <coughs> something wrong, sir? This isn't butter. <coughs> it's margarine. Holy oleo, Bad Bat! You're right! I've told you a thousand times never to give me anything but real butter. I'm sorry, sir, but there seems to be a shortage of butter. Gad, life is so cruel. Bruce, look at this newspaper! Hello, what's this? Butter becomes weightless. Four dairies float into space. Butter becomes weightless? Raymond Burr must be in orbit by now. And this just in, ice cream stands all over the country are reporting that the flavors of their ice creams are mysteriously changing. Old favorites such as strawberry and chocolate are now reported as tasting like liver and onions and aluminum siding. In other news... What is this country coming to? How can we maintain the highest standard of living in the world if our ice cream tastes like a garage door? Hello? Yes, Commissioner, this is Bat-Bat. What? All the milk, chocolate, and candy bars has been replaced by steel wool? Well, don't look at me, Commissioner, I didn't do it. Oh, you want me to find out who did? Yes, sir, I'll get on it right away. Goodbye. Quick, Ward, to the Bat Pit! One of these fiends is responsible for these dastardly dairy crimes. But which one is it? Ten Face? No Face? Ralph Mann? Well, I'm stumped, old chum. I have no idea who's committing these dairy crimes. Your hot chocolate, sir. Belfry, look at this. Holy heifer, that's it. Only one man could have committed these crimes. The cow. Bug Wonder, don't drink that cocoa. Open your mouth. Aha, just as I thought. A message. Belfry, get the bat scope. And whatever you do, Bug Wonder, don't swallow. Hold still now. I think we've finally got this thing working. Ah, there it is. Attention, Bat Bat. Meet me at the Mouseville Dairy tonight at 9.48 p.m. It's just around the corner from the public library. Park in the back and let yourself in with the key under the mat. We'll be waiting for you. Signed, The Cow. At last, a clue to the cow's whereabouts. Now, if we can only decode it. Hot cocoa! 
chocolate ice cream, cottage cheese. How much longer will this exploitation go on? When will the cows cast off their milking machines and stand on their own two hooves? When I think how for centuries the cow has been forced to submit to the public's demands for measly dairy products, I get so furious, I want to too. But enough of this. All this anger upsets my stomachs. Centurions, come to attention. Now, as you know, my campaign of sabotage against the insidious dairy industry is proceeding right on schedule. But the one man who could put a stop to our plan, the Bat Bat, has discovered us. Now don't cry over spilt milk, men. I have arranged a rendezvous with the didactic duo tonight at the Mouseville Dairy, where his illustrious crime-fighting career will come to a powdery end. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Moo! Ha-ha! <laughs> this plan is not only foolproof, it's also tamper-proof and child-resistant! We superheroes always do things the hard way. Well, if it isn't the famous bat bat Yes, and if it isn't the famous cow. I see you brought the famous bug wonder with you. Throw in the towel, cow. The final bell has rung. It hasn't yet, but it's about to. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Yeah! As you can see, bat bat you are trapped in a milk dehydrating machine. This is an utter mistake. Flippin' to the end, eh? Well, I expected that. This bad joke meter measures the corniness of your one-liners. When the ratings hand hits zero, you and the bug blunder will be instantly turned into powdered superhero. Hop, hop, hop. You, you friend? I think he means fiend. And now I must be going. I have a date with Destiny, the International Milk Exposition. Come, Echo Sex. I had a date with Destiny once, but... She stood me up. Is this the end of Bat Bat and the Bug Wonder? And the beginning of the dehydrated duo? Is that a multiple choice question? This looks like the end, Bat Bat. Yes, it looks as though we're going to take a powder. It is an honor and a pleasure to be here with you today. Although recent events have caused a minor decline in the dairy industry, I am proud to present this Dairy Man of the Year Award to Mr. Buckley Butterfat. This award is an outrage! This entire fair is an outrage! Another humiliation to the cow community, but no more! Now I will exact my vengeance on all of you! Ha! Ha! Moo! Moo! Look! The bat bat! What? It can't be! Give up, you coward! Holy honor! It is bat, bat Please, ladies and gentlemen, everything is under control. Please, remain calm. Wow, my shorts really rode up. Didn't expect to see me again, did you, cut breath? You're supposed to be in the dehydrating machine. How did you escape? Simple. I recited a USO monologue and your hope meter exploded. Curses! Take that, you curs! And that! And that too! Take this five dollars! And don't you spend it all on comic books! What's that in your ear, cow? Oh, yeah! Well, what's that in your belly button? Hey, what's that in your nose? Hold it, Bat Bat! One more step and we both go over! You heard me! Back off or start looking for a new spokeswoman! Ah, er, spokes cow! No, take it easy. I know you don't want to hurt anybody. What do you mean? I don't want to hurt anybody! I'm an arch-villain! That's my stick! You're just misunderstood. You crave the attention the other cows get. You've been looking for love. We all need love. We live for love. 
Even lowly scum like you. Yes, I was jealous. I do need love. I, I made so many mistakes. We all make mistakes, cow. That's why they put rubber on the ends of pencils. Take good care of him, boys. Put him out to pasture. Look, Bad Bad. It's Mighty Mouse! Here I come to save the day! A little late. Well, the lights were against me. <laughs> this is Little and Scrappy. He's not running away from home. He's running to find a home. Yes? Hi. My name is Scrappy. I'm an orphan. Will you be my mom? Crying, little fella? Why aren't you out playing with your friends? I don't have any friends. I'll be your friend. You mean it? Mighty Mouse never lies. You're really Mighty Mouse? That's right. And we're pals? Pals for life. Wow! You mean if I'm ever in a tight spot, you'll come and save the day? Of course I will. But don't you go calling your super friends just any old time. Make sure you're really in trouble. So long, pal. King! Mighty Mouse is my pal! Hi, I'm Scrappy. Who are you? We're the Mice Fits. I'm Mo. This is Bob, and that's Frawley. Can I hang around with you guys and have some fun? Uh, don't know. Uh, what do you think, Bob? Certainly not. Beat it, you little squite. Who needs you? Oh, yeah? Well, who needs you when Mighty Mouse is my pal? Mighty Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty Mouse, you That's pal. Rich. <laughs> Mighty Mouse is my pal. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Let's play a gag on the little hairball. <laughs> You know the apple tree up at Old Man Weasel's place? Not Old Man Weasel. Hey, kid, you can join the mice fits. We was just kidding you. Of course, you gotta pass the initiation. Think you can handle it, Pee-wee? Pee-wee? You just tell me what to do. That's a spirit. Now, you see that shack up there on the hill? That's where Old Man Weasel lives. Old Man Weasel? What's the matter, kid? You scared? Well, not me, Jack. Good, now. If you can take an apple from that tree, you're in. No sweat. <laughs> what a riot. This kid will be in for it when that old weasel catches him. Sorry, wrong, boys. I'm no weasel. I'm a mole! 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 <laughs> you know what happens to bad little boys who steal apples? Who don't know a weasel? 
fait ma mort Thanks, Weasel. Here you go. So, you've been bad little mice. Don't look so sad. Don't you know? This is the most whimsical place on Earth. You're gonna like it here. And as for me, well, I'm a swell guy. Just ask old Salty here. He knows me well. <clears throat> Ain't that right, Salty? Ah! Don't tease a Quiet! Listen, I'm a fair guy. But just remember, if you don't pull your weight as good carnival workers, if you don't obey my rules, and if I ever catch you working against me... <sighs> Let's think nice things, shall we? I, I bet you wouldn't be so tough if Mighty Mouse were here. Sure, kid, but Mighty Mouse ain't here, is he? You're gonna have a great time. Just wait. Tomorrow you'll have all the carnival attractions you've ever wanted. <laughs> I mean, the action of those puppets is so lifelike. That's got my interest. Just amazing. You mouse! I want that swell jeweled scratching post over there, sticking about all the mouse traps. It's uh oh my goyle lead. <laughs> That's it, mouse! Now pull it out! Mm, I don't like it. How about that bag of catnip over there by the hand grenade? A vulgar situation, indeed. What'll we do? <laughs> I'm never gonna steal another apple. <laughs> Didn't I tell you this is a fun place to be? <laughs> oh, you poor little snips look hungry. Hey, Julius, bring these guys some grub. They're gonna need their strength. Tomorrow's a big day. <laughs> How I love the carny business. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll get us out of this. I'll call my pal Mighty Mouse. Ah, uh, lay off it, will ya, kid? Mighty Mouse ain't your pal, and you know it. If he were, he'd get us out of this mess. He is too, my pal, and I'll prove it. But don't you go calling your super friends just any old time. Make sure you're really in trouble. Oh, you guys don't believe in him anyhow. So let's save him the trouble by saving ourselves. You remember all those papers in Chester's office? Well, that guy's so crooked, there has to be stuff in there to prove he belongs in jail. If we can just sneak in there. Hey, I don't want to cause a fuss, but you got some mice over here that don't move nearly as lifelike as the ones in your puppet show. Oh, what? Should do the trick, Scrappy. Swell! Now we can. Aha! What did I tell you about working against me? 
When you're done with this ride, you're gonna be so dizzy, you won't have a chance to do any more plotting against Chester. Let this be a lesson to you all. <laughs> No, I think I might have gone too far this time. Gee whiz, Mighty Mouse, I think I really am in trouble now. And if you really are my pal, help! Here I come to save the day! I guess I deserve that. Wow! Scruffy! What a guy! <laughs> you really do know him. Uh, he is your pal! <laughs> do you mind, Scrappy, if we hang around with you from now on? Well, I'll consult with Mighty Mouse and see if there's any time on our schedule. Don't worry, boys! You've always got a job here! <laughs> They're good kids. <laughs> <laughs>